you listen to me, Isaac. Listen, dick. It's not my fault you got robbed. Not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. You understand? I'm on a cell phone, you jerk. Oh, you want me killed? Oh, yeah? Screw you! I'm done with you. You understand? I'm finished. No, no, you know what? I ain't even started yet, you thief and fuck! I'm in shit because of you, you piece of sh Hello? Hello? Uh, ah! Go ahead! Open your mouth, asshole! Push your fucking luck! Ray! The fuck do you want? You told me to come. Well, sorry! Having a bad fucking day! Oh, I'm sorry. Me too. Fuck it. Fuck it. That curly head. Leech is gonna talk! Go shut that stooge up! Shut who up? Isaac! The diamond dealer! Blaming me for everything! Everything! Even the shit we didn't do! No, I got no money, no diamonds, and his dick's threatening to have me killed. Blaming me, because he got robbed. Okay, so? He's holed up in the Majestic with a couple of his cronies. Go shut those fuckers up. No problem. Hey, can I get a coffee, please? Hey, buddy, where you headed? Here we are. Great, thanks. You're not welcome here. Get out of here. We got a lot You are dead, locked friend. in, my friend. You've been a pain in my ass. Ah, die, you shit. Well, Try to make this exciting, pal. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna have to fucking hurt you. My leg! My so leg! Long.
I shut Isaac up for you. I feel like all I've been doing is shutting people up ever since this diamond thing started. Well, we ain't got the diamonds, so we don't know where they are. Johnny, that biker scumbag has disappeared with the money. And every other mouth that came close to those diamonds is closed for good. Except for yours, that is. You gotta be grateful for that. Screw you, Ray. I ain't your cleanup guy no more. You get that? All right, Nicky, all right. Don't go forgetting about respect or nothing. He's still just another straight-off-the-boat punk. This city can get real scary if you don't got friends. You remember that. you'd help me. I've already helped you, but I'll help you again. Wait for me to be in touch. Florian, open the door. Nemo de Cepeda. Govoring Desky, and they told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie opened the door. What's going on? Come in, come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself, to get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me? Yes. Well, no. Uh, well, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Bryce found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing ultimate disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because, uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home. Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. I'm so glad you've come back into my life. It's cool. But listen, you and I don't know each other. How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. Oh. The haters are in Middle Park, hon. Nico, you're still in great shape. You work out? Not really. I keep active, you know? Is there a name for that fitness plan? I'd take a class if I could be guaranteed buns like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being errand boy for the mob. Ah. It's cardio time, Nico. Remember to keep some distance, though. Follow my bun, sweetie. Hello? Watch my rear. Don't you have any manners? You hit me.
Keep up, honey. I'm about done with you, homo. Why don't you pick on someone who'll fight back? What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. Jail. We need to get out of here. That's a unit from Westminster. Too fucking lame. He's not going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. Vid be more score of div Nico Vecchi. Come on, Bryce. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. But, 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 but I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal. <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey. This is for real. Jesus H, Nico. I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cold. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no, sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay. 
That's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No. But he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah. Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. All right, hun. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. You know, I don't think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting! They don't even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them! Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way! Where's Bryce? We wanted to speak to him, not his rent boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Visa News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. Fucking Dimitri! Cops have a hard time, don't they? Sit 
die first. Let me finish this. Thank you. All right. The guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. So we were just meant to scare them? Well, that didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri's too much of a rat to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating you. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality as evil. It's insanity. He's a hypocrite. It was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. You don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, Nico. What's up, Mallory? Roman has spoken to you about anything, have you? Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah. Thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Oh! Sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man. And my husband is in hell. I'm thinking... God moves in mysterious ways. Whoa. That's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, uh, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed him. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching me. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, I'm gonna chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest. He's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone. An Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh. This one. Come on! Yeah, what you want to? 
sneaky scumbag! Tony Black didn't do nothing to nobody who didn't deserve it! What the fuck? We're going to the mattresses for sure! Garon sleeping with the fishes. Anyone who saw. What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bright Dawkins and Bernie Crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swingers? How's Molly? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chow. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Oh, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the people the poop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now, business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But, Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem.
Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just ask it. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time this motherfucker... Ugh. I'll be in touch, Nikki. Come on!
like a good idea when I grab the truck. about your driving, asshole. Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Matthew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully you'll look after him. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. He only operates on an outside line. Go to the payphone on the corner of the Tulo and Hartford. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother, Francis McCreary, is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis's funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. Can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear, but he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god, get the hell out of the way! Can these people? 
will shoot at us on another day! Don't come out of the fucking church! This is gotta be about to steal Jerry fucked up between the Angelotti's and those Albanians. Ain't no more McCreary setting up his ass to say that! There's more coming! Watch out, Nico! brother to the mercy of them animals. Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? Damn it, what's the back door's light, Nico? The fucking casket better not fall out. Go easy. They're following us no more, thank fuck. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck! I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart rather than for another piece of your anatomy. Which ain't gonna get used, I might add. Okay, oh, this no. is it. We can put him in the ground now. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico. You. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead and Wayne's house. 